here to look through some of my CDs again. So kicking off a classic. This is my favourite Def album. This is the time when they went from being full on brutal to being a bit more technical. Which I called Brutiful because it's beautiful music, but it's also brutal. And after this, we're on to Human, which I didn't like as much, to be honest. And uh, more technical stuff later on. It's good for what it is, but it's to me, I prefer the earlier Def. And this spiritual healing is the pinnacle. In fact, I've got a massive poster on my ceiling of it. Uh, my ex-girlfriend, her dad used to work, like, driving around London in vans, basically, delivering newspapers. And he saw somebody uh, do, putting those posters up, and he managed to grab one, and uh, I got one, so there you go. So, they're pretty rare, that poster that size, probably. Right, The Bleeding Light, I uh, can't say I remember too much about them. Season of Mist Band, so... Probably some kind of avant-garde, gothic -y, doom death, I'd expect. Right, Razorback, a whole wild tale of terror. I think this is the Razorback Records compilation, yeah. Razorback Records compilation, this one. Machete Zoe, intense hammer rage, impaled, murder corporation, bloody gore. Bands like that. Oh, gore rotted on it as well. Right, Maleficarum, Across the Heavens. Doom death, I think. Been a long while since I listened to it. Uh, Immolation, classic death metal. This is a reissue, I think. Yeah, re sub record. Resurrection. Resurrect series. Yeah. Stepping on Angels Before Dawn. Right, Earth Corpse, Born Bleeding, another Doom death metal band. I interviewed these guys in my fanzine as well. They're from Guernsey in the Channel Islands. Earth Corpse. Pretty cool stuff, actually. Right, Sin Oath, still in the grey dying. I had a habit of buying records that are grey in the title because my name is grey. <laughs> so I just it was just something I did. If I saw something with, with, the, name, with the name grey or the word grey, I'd go, oh, I'll pick that up. <laughs> right, Creator, Renewal. Pretty sure I've got this on vinyl as well. That is when they had a little bit of an experimental kind of uh, thing. And it was really good, actually. I enjoyed this. When you first heard it, it was like, what the heck are Creator doing? But after a while, you're like, actually, I like what they're doing. It's another one I think I've got this on vinyl as well, both of these actually. Abstract Reality and uh, Indulgence, the two releases by Nasty Savage. Now, Abstract Reality is an EP, and I've got to say, I think to this day it's my favourite EP ever. The Abstract Reality EP, it's only four songs by Nasty Savage, but it's so bloody good. If you haven't heard it, you know, do yourself a favour, go and listen to it now. Definitely the, the greatest piece of work, the Abstract Reality EP. <laughs> I think these guys are Greek, I can't remember for sure. Sanity's Dawn, Mangled in the Meat Grinder, as you can tell from the title. It's a little bit death metal-y. Just a tiny, tiny, little widdly bit death metal -y. <laughs> Right. Um, Tenebrarium, is that? You can tell I don't. Tenebrarium Alta Magia. Morbid Gaul. Okay. Absolutely no memory of that at all. <laughs> I, think I, should, uh, I think I should give that another listen at some point. Right, Nightingale, The Closing Chronicles. Now, is that the band that was um, Dan Swano? Did Dan Swano... Yeah, Dan Swano. It was a solo project, that's right. I think it might have all been instrumental as well. Can't remember for sure. And didn't he do, like, a Nightingale album with just one track the whole way through? Or was that what that was? It's got... The Breathing Shadow Part 2. I'm sure there was one where he did a, a, one whole track, was a whole album. Right, get in there, you bloody CD. Get in there properly. Yeah! It's not going in properly. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, fuck that one. Right, Mekong Delta, Visions Fugitives. Mekong Delta are a cool, kind of technical, fresh metal band. A German, I believe, but they have some really cool stuff. Technically, technical, fresh kind of, kind of thing. Right, Falconer, bit of power metal for you. Pretty good album. This is, I think this is their self-titled album. I think it might be their first one. Pretty good stuff, actually. Upon the Grave of Guilt is a really cool track. And also, the Search for the Crown, is it? A Quest for the Crown, that's another cool track as well. Very medieval, kind of like epic -y fantasy kind of lyrics in that one, pretty cool. And then a little bit of uh, your melodic death metal from um, in, in Flames, Lunar Strain. They started off good, but uh, I think they went a bit 
to modern mean metal. Right, I'm going to try and put that back one last time. It's gone in there now. Right, so that's it. That's the CDs for this week. Still got plenty more to go, so come back and uh, we'll go through some more next week.